Hi, how are you? Well, my name is Chris Berg and I reside in Appleton, Wisconsin. Um, and uh, this product I thought of, uh, the day the, I had, the iPad came out, uh, and I waited a couple months and decided to take it to my local uh, technical college, uh, Fox Valley Technical College, and most more importantly, the Fab Lab area of that fabrication laboratory which they had a uh, rapid precision prototyping machine called a uh, object. It's pretty much a large printer that uh, prints out three-dimensional objects using a liquid plastic and when exposed to UV light it hardens. So pretty much you can make almost anything you want in this, uh, in this object. Okay, well this is it. Uh, I call it the iHype. I hold your pad everywhere. And it very simply does just that. Uh, the iPad clicks in the four corners. This is uh, exterior uh, shell here is flexible, so you can bend it around, clip it in. Uh, clips are pretty, pretty heavy duty, so uh, I mean, shaking the iPad, it, it's not going to come out. A uh, couple features, obviously, that I'm going to point out, and hopefully you'll see that separates this from the rest of the carrying cases, screen protectors, and stands. Uh, you'll see it. One dubs as a handle. Now. You may say the screen is going to get damaged from carrying it like this. Simply take the pad out, flip it around, put it back in, and the back is now the front. So you can't uh, really damage the screen then. Uh, another screen protection feature are these uh, four keyholes here. Um, you can simply uh, take a felt or a low lint cloth, put some hooks on it, hook it on there, bring it over the front, hook it back on, and you can leave the screen exposed with a lint-free cloth over the top to uh, give it that added protection. These keyholes here also can be used for a lanyard. Let's say you want to attach a lanyard for a uh, shoulder harness or uh, simply around your neck so you have easy access when working on it. You can bring it right back up, put it back down. Um, that's another neat little feature. Uh, the most important features obviously is this handle. Uh, you see a lot of different things going on with this handle. This is uh, pretty much to improve the grip of working on your iPad. You can uh, grip it in any orientation, operate it with your other hand, uh, use this small little part here for a smaller hand, move to the bigger hand for a bigger guy. Uh, you also have a finger he hole here in case you drop the iPad. You can you know, still hang on to it safety first, right? You don't want to bust your brand new $800 iPad. So um, that's a nice feature. Uh, eventually this handle is, this is just obviously like I said a prototype, this handle is going to be made out of uh, aluminum with a outer ring of santaprene or a uh, nice rubber material so it prevents slide um, when you're working on it. Also gives a nice comfort grip. Uh, also another little feature, one that I'm most proud of, um, is this little quarter inch number 20 screw. This is a tripod screw pretty much, you see them on all cameras. Um, Hopefully I want to adapt after, <laughs> if I get this going, um, a, uh, a mount for a table um, or a bed post even. Um, you know, you clamp this uh, stay put flexible metal to a desk or a bed post. You have a stay put flexible metal that comes up, screws into the universal quarter inch number 20 screw, and there it hangs uh, right in midair. Ideally, this is what I'm really looking forward to is uh, coming up with accessories to this along with this product. But there you have it in a nutshell. The uh, handle spins so you can put it in any orientation you want to. I mean, you can basically sit up and uh, kick your feet up, place the pad on your legs, you know, sit around, relax, watch TV on this little uh, unit here if you don't got a big 42-inch monitor or whatever. Um, if you're a gamer, you can pick it up. Um, it's real easy, real light. I mean, uh, aluminum handle and the, uh, the plastics aren't going to weigh that much. Um, plus, giving the diversity of the angle of this handle. I mean, uh, this is uh, this is hopefully a product that I hope you enjoy. And uh, mostly, what I'm looking for is feedback. You know, I want to know if this product is uh, sparking your interest, and uh, let me know if it's a piece of junk. <laughs> um, I would like to hear from anyone and everyone, so let me know please, alright? Thanks a lot. Once again, my name is Chris Berg, and uh, have a good day, alright?